we are back in the kitchen and firefighter Tim's name's and name is in lights. Oh yeah. Oh there yeah, it is. Yeah. Look at it. Or at least it's on the it's on the billboard. Yeah. I mean it's lit enough. it's lit up enough, you know. <laughs> uh the big time right there. Uh so you, well, we're gonna move from our tuna salad sandwich right into this uh red wine and mushroom soup. So we've got our onions starting to saute. I've got about a pound of mushrooms. This is uh, some shiitake and some uh, baby bella. And we're just going to get those kind of heated up. And I should have timed this a little better because I already chopped up all the stuff I need to chop up. But while these are sauteing, what I do want to say, so something with mushroom, mushrooms, they're like 80 or 90% water, right? Mushrooms uh -huh. are a ton of water. So they're going to start to to leak out some of that water. And what you can do to kind of absorb that back up is just, while they're, just crack some salt in there kind of help absorb some of that. And so we're going to get those sautéing. And the, the other element in this recipe is your Chianti, correct? That's right. That's right. So, oh yeah, I've got a little Chianti right there for you. And uh, I always like this Chianti, like I told you, for the bottle. I'm a big, uh, I'm a, you'll find this, I'm a big proponent. I, they sell me on looks a lot of times, sure, a yeah. label. So I like this. It reminds me of growing up. My uncle owned a restaurant. And they'd have the candles sitting in it. Same with my Hungarian paprika. I love... Like anything, I mean, that, that looks great. This, this yeah. package, it got me. It sold me. The kitchen aesthetics. That's right. Yeah. So once we get this kind of sauteed down, the next step would be to deglaze the pan with our red wine. Mm. Smells great, Tim. I mean, oh, I don't thank that, you. But it does. And so then we're going to get that deglazed a little bit. So we're going to have that simmering. And then I've got, you can either use vegetable stock, beef stock, chicken stock. We're going to add that right here. And let that keep on heating up. Uh, I'm going to add some garlic powder. And then, of course, quite a bit of Hungarian paprika. I've got two different kinds, so just regular right here and a little bit of smoked. So this is going to have a little, it's going to be a, a, a spicy soup. A little bit spicy, yeah, yeah. I like to add a little crushed red pepper flake to it. Mm -hmm. And when I say I like to, I made it this morning. Uh, legitimately, I knew what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to make like a red wine type of mushroom soup. Uh -huh. But I got what I thought would be the ingredients yesterday. And so this morning about 5 a.m. I woke up and I made, I made it. So uh, it was kind of on the fly. Uh, a little more salt, a little more pepper. And then what I did is I took and uh, I took some of these just whole canned tomatoes. I, saw, I simmered those in a different pot for about 20 minutes and then I emulsified them. And I have to say, I don't know who this brand is, but uh -huh. again, when I go back to brands, I have no idea. I saw it, but I had to buy it because whoever this is, we support our firefighters. There you go. And oh, I saw this and I was like, well, I'm in. So. <laughs> you probably got that from all these. I, mean, right, I, I don't even know which store I got this from. I just saw they supported firefighters and I said, well, I'm going to support you. So thank you very much. Very nice. So I've got my uh, pureed tomatoes right here that I've cooked. We're going to add that. And. Then we're going to turn our heat up, and this will saute. You want to saute this for about a half hour. And I poured our bit of vitamin D milk here, so whole milk, or you could use uh, whipping cream or heavy, heavy uh, half and half. I use this cup just because I thought my girls would think it was funny. And yeah. Cool. Cool. Uh, we'll see how it pours. So a mar martini glass full of milk. That's right. <laughs> so then we'll just let this simmer, saute, and uh, just get some nice flavor in there. And over here we have our finished product. So it's cooked down. Oh, I actually shut the power off here, but uh -oh. that's all right. Hopefully, I hope I didn't bump that. <laughs> oh, Randy <laughs> shut my power there off. There you go. No. So, and what's nice with this, I, I was thinking to myself, uh, you know, it's a cold day today, so a little bit heartier yeah, soup absolutely. with the cream and yep. kind of tomato bisque a little bit like. And so then this will go great with our sandwiches that we had earlier. Oh. So I had those all set. He's got this TV Ooh. thing down. I don't know he if you really folks does, have noticed. Yeah. But. So right there we've got our sandwich, our soup, and either of you mushroom guys. Now in my house I'm the only I, one. I, I love mushrooms. All right. Uh, so you know, I, I, I'm okay so, with mushrooms. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So let's find you a spoon. Well, maybe find you a spoon. And uh, well, I found I, you a I plastic always, spoon. When, I, when I'm in this kitchen, I always ask Tim where stuff is. And we got a plastic so. spoon for you. So yeah. there we go. Just a little rich and creamy uh, mushroom and red wine soup. George is gonna love it. Mm, it's nice. Um, it's very nice. That, well, thank that's, you. Uh, I mean that. That's well, like, it was, that's gourmet stuff. Well, it was yeah. made up this morning about 5 a.m. So yeah. <laughs> the recipe will be online. I sent it in. 
uh, Jason yesterday was like, hey, can you uh -huh. send me a recipe? He said, well, I haven't actually made it yet, but I have it in my mind what I'm going to do. Well, so, when you described it as a bisque, I think that's really good. And it's, it's got, that salt is nice. Oh, well, yeah. thank you. Yeah, so, so it's really oh. simple. As you guys saw, I mean, literally, we had to speed it up a little bit here. You'd normally saute the onions a little longer, the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. But really, both these recipes today, you could do in five minutes, and, right? Five minutes. And, and uh, Amber, I, let me, if I could be so bold, it oh. is best if accompanied with a glass of Chianti. Well, of course Chianti. it is.